US to deploy long-range missiles in Germany, Russia already issuing threats. The US will begin deploying long-range weapons to Germany in 2026 to strengthen NATO and ensure European defense. This is stated in a joint statement by the two countries. According to representatives of Berlin and Washington, the episodic deployment is preparation for the long-term deployment of a number of weapons including SM-6 missiles, Tomahawk cruise missiles and in the future even hypersonic weapons which have a significantly greater range than current ground-based systems in Europe. As Build writes, US cruise missiles can fly long distances and destroy military targets on enemy territory. These could be command centers, bunkers and radar installations. Tomahawks are launched from mobile launchers, ships or submarines. The range of American cruise missiles is up to 2,500 kilometers which means that in theory they could even reach Moscow. According to the publication, Chancellor Olaf Scholz wants to intertwine the German and American armed forces so closely in the near future that no new US president, and perhaps Donald Trump, will be the one to be able to separate them without causing enormous damage. The Russian Federation has already responded to the plans of the Germans and Americans. In particular, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation, Sergei Ryabkov, stated that the Kremlin without nerves and emotions will develop a military response to the threat of the USA and Germany. He expressed the opinion that these actions are aimed at damaging the security of the Russian Federation. The US's plan to deploy novel long-range weapons in Germany beginning in 2026 increases the possibility of an arms race and may trigger an uncontrollable escalation Russian ambassador to Washington Anatoly Antonov said, essentially this is about the US's plan to deploy intermediate and long-range missiles in Europe. Washington is making a serious mistake. Such highly destabilizing steps directly threaten international security and strategic stability, the diplomat said on the Russian embassy's Telegram channel. The Americans are increasing the risk of a missile arms race. Here they forget that going the way of confrontation may set off an uncontrollable escalation amid the dangerous aggravation of tensions along the Russia-NATO track. He explained, instead of aspiring for peace like Russia does, the Americans took a dangerous militarist path. There, nobody is thinking about minimizing the dangerous consequences of breaking the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. Washington has yet again displayed its insatiable need to show its own military superiority, the envoy noted. NATO countries Denmark and Netherlands have started the transfer of F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine to strengthen Kiev's defenses against Russia, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said on Wednesday. I am pleased to announce that as we speak, the transfer of F-16 jets is underway, coming from Denmark, coming from the Netherlands. And those jets will be flying in the skies of Ukraine this summer to make sure that Ukraine can continue to effectively defend itself against the Russian aggression, Blinken said while addressing a NATO 75th anniversary summit in Washington. The US official also said that NATO is working on an incredibly robust package, which would be unveiled in the next couple of days. In a joint statement, the leaders of the US, the Netherlands and Denmark said the Danish and Dutch governments are in the process of donating US-produced F-16s to Ukraine, with the support of Washington. According to the statement, the transfer process for the F-16s is now underway, and Ukraine will be flying operational F-16s this summer. No other details about the transfer were provided. We are committed to further enhancing Ukraine's air capabilities, which will include squadrons of modern fourth-generation F-16 multi-role aircraft. The coalition intends to support their sustainment and armament, as well as further associated training for pilots to enhance operational effectiveness, the statement added.